What's up, y'all? This is the G-flat scale video for F transposition instruments, which is just the horns. If you're not a horn player, you're on the wrong video. Please go away. All right, horns, let's get her started. Up here at the top of the page, I'm going to write G-flat concert, because your first note isn't G-flat, but it is still the G-flat concert scale. All right, then we gotta figure out what your first note is. Down here we have the circle of fourths, which we use for a lot of things, but one of which can be transposing. You can transpose anything to French horn using this. All I do is take the named pitch, in this case G flat, and you go one click counterclockwise on this circle. So I'm gonna go this way, one click. So now I know my first note as a horn player is D flat. It's that easy. So I go down here where I'm gonna write letter names and I write my first pitch, D flat. Now I write letters in order. So I'm just in, sorry, in order of the alphabet, right? D, E, F, G, I'm just going through the alphabet. There's no H, so I start over again at A, and then I keep climbing my way up, and I will land on the note with which I started. So now I have letter names. The next question would be, how many flats do I have? So for that, we'll go back to the circle. I'll change colors here. Right here at the top of the circle, that is zero flats. And you can see right here, as we add flats, we go in this direction. So I'm gonna go here. That means one flat, then two flats, then three. This is four flats. So here we are at five flats. We kind of ignore the sharp thing. We could also do it as seven sharps, but that hurts my head. So here we are at five flats. How do I know which flats they are? That's right here. The order of flats is B E A D G C F. I always just remember it by saying Bijakuf. It's kind of a non word, but it helps me. Uh, and they're always in the same order. So if I had three flats, it would go B E A. If I had five flats, which I do, it's going to go B E A D G. Those are my five flats. So. Let's write letter name or write flats next to our letter names down here in these boxes. So B was one of them, E was one of them, A was one of them, and then D's were flat. There's two of them here. We had already flatted them because that's the name of the scale. Okay, so there's my B E A D. Oh, and there's a G flat too. We skipped that. There's my five flatted notes, B E A D and G. So now I know letter names. I know flats. Now I gotta figure out where's my starting pitch. So I'm gonna go to the next page, draw a key signature. Let's go back to blue. Uh, so vertical line here, little loop, big loop, and a tail at the bottom. If your treble clef kind of stinks, that's okay. When I'm writing flats in the key signature, they should read from left to right in the same order that they did here. Okay, it should read in that order of flats. So I go here and go B. Then I move over in E, then I move over A, then I move over to D, and the last one was G. Again, I got that from the order of flats on that first page. In order, from left to right. Your starting pitch is down here. It's a D flat below the staff. So now I know key signature. I know letter names of notes. I know my starting pitch. So I'm ready to grab a fingering chart and figure this scale out. So um, I... You can go Schoology or you can go to the uh, Google machine. I, I'd probably go Google machine because some of these fingering charts are weird. Uh, and I find my fingering chart. Oh, boy. Cool, there's a fingering chart. So I screenshot that or you probably some know, know some smoother way to do it. Grab that, chuck it in here, size it so that I can actually read it. Put it somewhere. And then I grab my highlighter. Now, the letter names were up here on this page. So I'm using these letter names with this starting pitch to find the notes on this scale, or on this fingering chart. So I find that first note, it was D flat. There it is. The next note was E flat. And the next note was F. And then it was a G flat. Then it was an A flat. And then it was a B flat. And it was a C, and then finally a D flat. And as you know, anything higher than this note gets uh, is the thumb valve fingering. So that's when I start using these parenthetical fingerings. So now I have I have everything I need to know. This is the fingerings for the scale. That's the scale. So you can turn this assignment in, 
and start practicing that scale.